Here we are with uh, Dee Walsh in the Belfast Cronk Gym. Dee, how did you get over to Christmas? So it was a tough period for boxers. It's always a tough period. You know, being an island, always surrounded by parties and stuff like that. But yeah. It's an enemy game. You had to, had to stay disciplined. You know I mean? Saturday, so that's a solo sport. You know? Did you manage to have your Christmas dinner? Ah, oh, my Christmas dinner, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the trimmings as well. All the trimmings, yeah. yeah. Just work I suppose you haven't, got, you haven't got a fight lined up, so it's kind of the conscience yeah, wasn't like really playing at you as well, yeah. If I had a fight coming up, you know you want to discipline yourself, you know what I mean? But don't have one name, so maybe. Yeah. So you turned pro last year, but you had a, even though you're quite, quite a young professional, you still had a, quite a lot of amateur experience. Can, for people that don't know much about you, can you tell them about your, uh, your amateur background? Well, as an amateur, I was an uh, under-21 champion in, uh, in 2009, beating <coughs> Stephen O'Reilly in the final, who was number two in Ireland, if you know what I mean. So, and uh, I lost down to Ulster Senior Final to Eamon O'Kane, which I think was a wide score, but like, everybody who's seen it was, it was a tight fight, you know what I mean? Well, I would say it was raw, but I was, I was, it was a tight fight, you know what I mean? He done, he done enough to win. And uh, I was ranked number four in the four nations last year in the boxing news. So I could say I have a pretty good amateur record. And the reason why I turned pro is because I have no chance going to the Olympics now that Don O'Neill is uh, Yeah. And at them Olympic box office, it was, I was there for a year with a hand injury. And yeah. I just had too much weight to take off and I just wasn't ready. I got beat by Conrad Cummings for front square. It was good performance by him, but what can you do? Move on. And see how that goes yeah. or what was kind of what was going through your head? Well ever since it was actually in 2010 where I won the, the Commonwealth Games box office if you know what I mean with Fiamma O'Kane pulling out it's I seen the politics if you know what I mean when the amateur sport when, when I won it and then they picked him to go and then he get the gold if you know what I mean it was it, it broke my heart if you know what I mean so it was from then I had sort of but whenever an offer came up I was going pro if you know what I mean everybody as a youngster Dreams of being a pro, dreams of being a world champion, you know what I mean? So, and that's what I want to do, is be a world champion. So, you've turned pro with uh, Gary Hyde, yeah. and you are due to make your pro debut in, uh, in Limerick on Willie yeah. Casey on the card. That's right. And, and that fell through. Yeah. Do you, we, we kind of think of yourself, here we go again, you know, I've been let down by the amateurs. No. The first fight, I've been let down by the pros again straight away. Well, I'm actually pretty patient, you know what I mean? As I say, I'm young, you know what I mean? So, if, when... I didn't come up, I was like, I'll just be twice as ready for the, the next fight, if you know what I mean? Yeah. And it was a, couldn't be a better debut to be in the yeah. game on and all that. So it was, it was actually a really good, it was debut. Yeah, that's right. Uh, live on Channel 5, although I don't, I don't, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure if it was, was, was it aired, was that fight aired? My fight wasn't aired, right, it was okay. because of the signal, I think. Yeah. It never come off, if you know what I mean? But it was, it was a big, it was a big bill anyway. Yeah. It was in the King's Hall, Belfast boxer, against another Belfast that's boxer. Right. And right. it was a cracking fight as well, you know, the, the first, couple of rounds were right. hammer and tongs and then yeah. the second couple of rounds were a great performance, great boxing from yourself. Yeah, it's, it's just a, just to get over the first two rounds, that, that, that's all I had to do, which I thought I won, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, George fought Burnham, you know what I mean? It was a typical boxer against the fighter and, yeah. and his crowd, my crowd, was which he both his arms, it ended, ended up with a brilliant atmosphere and people, as people said, it was their most favourite fight in it. You know yeah, it was mean? definitely was one of the most entertaining yeah. anyway, yeah. yeah. That's it, George is a gentleman and he's a hard man too, you like, know what I mean? So, never put the jar away like that. Yeah. I mean, and he was at his best as well, so it was burning me. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> 
Lack of opportunities, a little bit of an injury, or what? Yeah, well, what's been the story? I think it was um, I was meant to get a, a fit before Christmas, but the the bill was meant to be on fell through. But as I say, I'm patient, uh, so I just train away now. And yeah. Whenever he calls on me, I'd be ready. I'd be ready to go. You know I mean? Yeah. So you're in the cronk gym, but you're the only pro in the cronk gym, and the rest of the guys are all amateurs. Yeah. Is that something that's a bit of hard for you to to work with? Because Usually other pros, they're surrounded by other pros, yeah. they're able to t talk to each other about you know, their problems, their fights, what bills they're coming up with, or is you, you're kind of on your own. Yeah, I'm on my own, but as I say, like, I, I've got Tony here, Tony's, Tony knows what he's talking about, you know what I mean? And uh, like, I, I, like, I like being by myself, you know what I mean? It's, uh, then I know I just focus on myself and uh, just get the best out of myself and then that's it. Yeah, and so you coming into 2012 now, you know, it's going to be your first full year as a pro. Do you hope to get out a lot more, or what? What, what are you hoping for out of, the, out of this next year? Well, hopefully next year I get a lot of fits. You know what I mean? Because after I tasted the first one, I just absolutely loved it. That I never actually looked forward to fitting in, yeah. in amateur, but I, I really can't wait to fit again because of the the buzz, the the hit, the the everything. You know what I mean? It's just it's my kind of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's my kind of thing. Great. Yeah. Well, listen. Thanks very much for talking to us, and we'll catch up with you before your next fight, anyway. Cheers. Man. Cheers. Thanks very much. <laughs> Tell you very hard. Oh, sorry. Shove the bubble pie. 